All right. So we already prepped the cable. Now we're going to put it in the case. We got a, a Tyco D here. This is your standard big count cable case. We got the ring. The back. I'm not sure what that's called. And the lid. Okay. I have a, what is it, 3 8 First thing you want to do is you want to come over here. Unscrew these a little bit, move it out the way, and tighten it back again. I'm talking about these tabs right here. And unscrew that, then tighten it back just a little bit. Make sure your drill is on the lowest setting. Uh, you're going to strip these out real easily. Now, if you have a double-sided can wrench, I prefer to use that, honestly. I just don't have mine with me. Okay. Now, after you do that, you can take the boot off. If your company requires you to keep these on, by all means, keep them. 100% of the time, I cut these off. You don't use them, you don't need them, and even if you were to ground these, you still need to grind it to the line or in the ground, and nobody is going to take the time to do this. Okay? Cannot forget this. If you do this, and you splice this case without putting this boot on, uh, you are going to have to take all the splices out and feed it back through here, or just redo it. Huh. One time this happened, uh, and instead of redoing it, well, what happened was we had one cable on one side of the van, I guess this is not even related, and then another cable in the, in the window of the van, and after we got it back up, then everybody realized we had to cut the van in half, take the case out, because it would be cheaper than redoing it. Alright, we got the ring on. Now, we have the, this parts box, but I'm not going to open this. I have some spares. I got to actually use this case later for something else. Okay. Now, I'm only putting in two cables, so I only need two of these. These separate into here. Alright, I got these two. Right, I need the rings to, to match the size. It's only a 48 count. So I'm going to go ahead and use a small ring. And honestly, I use a small ring on everything except for um, uh, a 288 and possibly 144 if it's a thick jacket. Okay. These two, and then these also come in. So these come in different sizes. All right, this one uh, is for obviously the big count cable. It's pretty smaller one, and then these come into different sizes as well. Now, if the trick membrane is too big, you obviously need to use a big, bigger one. So I use two of these. And now, while I'm out in the field, I don't set all of this up. Um, I only use I only use this because the cable's not coming out after this. But for all intents and purposes, I'll just show you the right way. If somebody asks, you're going to need to know. So, take this off. Alright, let's get this one fourth. Okay, you want to verify your input. Depending on what company you have, they'll tell you on where you want to do your input. But most of the time, the input starts in port 1. We've got port 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Port 1 is your input, port 6 is going to be your main output, and then you start filling it up on this side, and then on this side. So, we're just going to pick one, let's say, this is our input. Alright, we are going to put this, this little opening right here. Okay, and put this on the back side. And uh, this is already going to screw a little bit. Now, this piece goes on your strength membrane. Alright, now you want to point this to where it's going to come in. Now, I want this to come in like this, so I need to put this on like it's coming in like this. So this, this fits like this. If I'm going to put it on like, oh, uh, the other fucking way. If I'm going to put it on like this, then I need to make sure this part is pointing at an angle up towards that direction. So that's what I'm going to do. And this screw goes on the back side. Oh, there we go. A little bit more. That goes on the back side. Now it's going to be pointing up in that direction. So make sure you, you want to make sure to get your buffers out of the way of when you're putting this on. 
Uh, so you don't have any problems with it moving and pinching and any of that other stuff. Now remember, keep this on low. If you overturn this, it's going to flip out of your hand and probably twist and break all your buffers. And honestly, if you use a hand tool for this, it'll be better. Okay, you got that piece now. You attach this. You want to make sure these two teeth are facing down and lined up. And then you put your hose clamp on there. Now I move pretty quick all the time when I'm doing this, so I always use a drill, and I just got a low power drill uh, that'll let me just have one setting and, and be fine with it. So I have this in, I moved it a little bit, so that's that's obviously not pointed up. And actually, if you look at it, it got off, off center a little bit. I'm not paying attention. Move that up like that, okay. And then tighten it back. Maybe. Nope, I'm wrong way. I do this every single day for work and I still mess up. Okay. Now this is pointing it up, so whenever I go to put this into the case, it's just gonna slide right in. Let me turn this. It's just gonna slide right in. Now this isn't a big problem with smaller count cables, but if you get a 244, 288, uh, even 144s, and you put this in here angled wrong, and you're sitting there trying to twist it, you're gonna have a you're gonna have a uh, more of a problem than you want to. It's just easier to put it in place how it's gonna go. I'm gonna do the same thing for the other side. All right, just a little long. Oops, it's screwed right up. You point this up that way, make sure my buffers are out of the way. And again, like I said, all I really do is put on uh, these black pieces and the hose clamp because this doesn't really do anything for you, if I'm being honest. And I've never had a complaint from doing it this far, uh, doing it like this so far, so that's uh, so how I'm going to do it. Is there another small? I thought I had two of them. Rain isn't going to be too loud in the video. I was hoping the same thing too. But this phone said it has, it can re reduce all that almost completely, so let's see. Nope. Ah, oh, whatever. Yeah, so I had this one really to go into this port, but since it's just a 48, I can just turn a little bit. And you want it to go all the way in until it clicks. Uh, sometimes on the big cables, you might not be able to get it in all the way, but just make sure this back part is farther up than right here. Otherwise, you won't be able to get the back on. All right, next we're gonna have the gel pack. So, oh, I don't have that one on here. Normally, I cut this off, put this on a drill bit, uh, uh, drill, and just screw it in. But I don't have it with me. And technically, you're not supposed to do that. So, so the gel pack has four tabs right here. You want to put this right in the middle. We have one on each side, so we're going to open up both sides. This needs to be facing back. Good. I'm going to slide it in there. And then you're just going to clip it back in. OK. 
Okay, so that's clipped in. We're gonna slide this back piece on. Now this only goes on uh, one way correctly, and it has the arrow right here. And then uh, the other arrow is the other arrow. Oh, that's on the case lid. I'm tripping. But then the tab goes up on top. Okay, we got, and then it's gonna fit into these grooves. And we're just gonna tighten it back on. Hold it down with one finger. This part I usually do with the can wrench, like I said, it's a lot easier. And the other side, a lot of times, if you lift it up enough, it should just fall into place. Okay, now all you do, or not all you do, these white plugs, we call them butt plugs. Everybody calls them that. Okay, you're going to stick these in the ones that aren't uh, being used, and you want to stick them in all the way to the end of this. I'm not going to open this right now because I have to use this for later. I don't want to have the pieces separated. But it'll click in once you get past this, this ring right here. And then you can either hand tighten this, put a screwdriver in here and tighten this. Or use a, a 3 8 5 8 whatever drill bit um, uh, or socket, I'm sorry, and then drill it in from there. And that will complete build in this case. Yeah, so this is Tyco D. We just put two prep cables in the Tyco D. Um, and then to close it up, all we do is put the lid on. Obviously, make sure this ring is on the entirety of the outside. You want to line these arrows up. And then it's all done. And we're good to go. All right.